What is cloaking? How do you detect cloaking practices on a website? So cloaking describes a situation where a website shows different content to search engine robots than it does to users. For example, a website might show keyword stuff text solely to search engine crawlers while hiding that text from users. In other cases, there can be cloaked redirects. With a cloaked redirect, the redirected URL takes Googlebot to one page, but that same redirected URL takes users somewhere else. So all of a sudden, Googlebot is getting a different redirect experience than users are. And the problem with cloaking is it looks deceptive. It looks like you're trying to manipulate search results. You're trying to tell Google one thing and tell users something else. And because a lot of people have abused cloaking in the past, specifically to manipulate search rankings, Google now catches this and they do consider this a violation of their guidelines. And this can be a cause of manual actions. So cloaking is something you wanna keep an eye out for and watch for on your website. Now, it doesn't always happen intentionally. It's easy enough to catch the intentional cloaking, right? Don't add keyword stuff text only for Googlebot. Don't configure your redirects to only work a certain way for Googlebot. That part's easy enough, but it's the accidental cloaking that you really need to keep a close eye out for. I've seen pages get cached for Googlebot to improve site speed. Something like a pre-rendering engine is being used. And you typically want to use something like this to help improve speed and performance. It's usually a good practice, but sometimes things get misconfigured and for whatever reason, the cache doesn't refresh for Googlebot. So the content Google sees, the cached content starts to fall out of sync with the non-cached content shown to users. All of a sudden, that starts to look like cloaking. You're showing Google one set of content, you're showing users a different set of content, and Google might mistake that and think that you're trying to manipulate the search rankings in some way. This can also happen with A-B testing tools if they aren't configured correctly to serve the same base content to search engines and users. Because of that A-B testing tool, maybe search engines and users end up seeing very different content and content that seems to serve a different purpose. And that's going to make Google think that you're doing something manipulative or spammy and that you're actually having cloaking on your website, in which case you might get a manual action or you might start to see problems with your search rankings. Another way this can happen is with geolocation and personalization. So geolocation and personalization might redirect bots to a different page, or it might show really different content on a page than what Googlebot sees. So all of a sudden, Google is going to see the non-localized, non-personalized page, and maybe that has a very different purpose, very different intent than the personalized, localized page that users see. That looks like cloaking. It's important to check your website to see if any cloaking is happening, whether it's the intentional kind of cloaking or the accidental cloaking that can happen when things break. You can load your website as Googlebot and then compare the output to the website as a normal user. And what you're looking for is whether or not the page content is very different for Googlebot and users. A few differences, that's not gonna cause problems. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. I've seen a lot of websites where they don't show ads to Google or other bots, and that's okay, right? That's, that's not going to be considered cloaking. But what you're looking for are those bigger differences that could be considered cloaking, where whole sections of the page are removed from Google's view of the page, or whole sections are added in Google's view of the page. The easiest way to test this is by changing your user agent in Chrome DevTools when loading the page. So let's hop over to DevTools and take a look. So after you load a page in Chrome, you want to right click and go to inspect, and then we want to open up network conditions. If you don't see network conditions down here, go up to the triple dots and then go to more tools and then click on network conditions and that will open up this panel. Now on this panel, you have a few different options, but what we want to pay attention to is user agent. So user agent is the actual information about who's the user hitting this page. And by default, the user agent is going to be somebody in a Windows device on Chrome, in my case, or maybe you're on your phone or on an Apple device, whatever it is. So you want to uncheck use browser default, and then you can choose from a pre-defined list of different user agents, or you can enter in a custom user agent. Under the predefined user agents, we do have a few different options for Googlebot, both Googlebot desktop and Googlebot smartphone. I recommend checking both to see if there's any instances of cloaking with either of those. 
So let's go ahead and choose Googlebot smartphone. And then after we choose Googlebot smartphone, we can go up and refresh the page. After we refresh the page, we can go through the content and we can start to see if there's anything different in Google's view of the page. Thankfully, in Elementive's case, there is nothing different. So there's no signs of cloaking, at least in the content. The other thing you can look at is the HTML code. So over in the inspect, you can see all the HTML. So you can copy all of this uh, code in here, all the HTML code. And what I like to do is take the HTML code that Google sees compared to the HTML code that a user sees and run it through Diff Checker. So Diff Checker is a free tool that you can use at diffchecker.com. And under here, we have the original text, which is what users see, and the change text, which is what Google sees. And then we can click Find Difference. And in this case, the two files are identical, which means there's nothing different about the HTML code shown to Google than there is the code shown to users, which is what we want. There's no instances of cloaking here. Sometimes you will see some differences and you want to investigate those to see if those are minor differences or if those are bigger differences that Google could consider to be a type of cloaking. If you have questions about cloaking on your website or need help resolving a problem related to cloaking, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you like this video and would like to see more like it from Elementive, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.